again, it's Laura. Thanks for watching. I wanted to show you some of the plants that I bought recently. I'm really feeling spring in Massachusetts. It's 65 degrees and sunny. I can't get outside into the garden, so I'm just kind of tending to my house plants. But I have bought a couple of really cool new plants and I wanted to show them to you. So, and I've gotten them all over. I buy a lot of plants online just because I don't have a great nursery near me, but sometimes you can find some really special ones. So I'll start from the top, and these are in no particular order. So this one is a philodendron lickety split, and I bought this at a really cool little nursery actually outside of Boston called Mahoney's, and this plant I've seen some that look similar to it, but this one I guess is kind of special and it's easier to find. Um, I guess it gets really big when it's full grown and it gets really big pretty rapidly. So when I bought it, it's actually been in kind of a not bright room, not dark necessarily, but um, you can see that there's a lot of new growth coming out of the base. And so I've heard that this plant is really easy to take care of that it grows no matter what, it's very tolerant of low light or high light. Um, so I bought this and I think it's really pretty cool. Someday I might try to propagate it, but I think I'll probably let it get a little bigger. I just put it into this pot last night. So this one, I really like its ruffled leaves. And again, this one is philodendron lickety split. Now I also have this snake plant, Sansevieria, which it's a really cool looking plant, right? I'm a little annoyed because I ordered this from Hertz Gardens and I bought it with the thought that it was hopefully a Bantil Sensation or that's how they sold it. This is not that. If you're familiar with snake plants, a Bantil Sensation is lighter, is almost has like silvery variegation. This one is still really beautiful, um, but I think that this is called a silver flame snake plant or something similar to it. It's not what I bought. It's still in really good condition. Um, the leaves are really shiny. I really like the dark green in the middle. I like snake plants anyways, um, but I am still a little bit annoyed. Um, but this plant, so I'm pretty sure that this is a silver flame snake plant. Um, and they are also pretty tolerant of low light conditions. You can neglect them, you cannot water them for weeks and they do fine. Um, so I really like these plants and I'm actually building up my collection of snake plants. So that's this one. I actually have two, but the other one's downstairs. Now the next one is difficult to pronounce. So this is a Monstera plant, Monstera Silte Picanha. So this is a trailing monstera. It has small leaves. You can see some really nice veining here. And I guess that this plant can get kind of bushy. Uh, it likes to be in either partial shade or shade, total shade. I mean, I don't know about total shade. Um, but it is really pretty. I bought this about, I don't know, two weeks ago. I just repotted it last night. And... Um, you know, it seems to be pretty happy. I have it in a north-facing window. And I've heard their watering needs are pretty average, you know, nothing special. Um, you know, so I really like this one, and maybe I'll update you as it gets bigger. So this next one is a Hoya plant, um, a Hoya macrophylia variegata. And I also have quite a few Hoya plants. Um, some that are pretty easy to find. This one uh, was a little more difficult, um, but I really like, you know, speaking of veining, I really like the veining on this one. And as you can see, the edges have kind of this like pink perimeter here. Um, it came to me in pretty good condition. This one leaf is off, a little busted. So I haven't really decided if I'll cut it off or it's the, it looks like it's the only leaf on that vine. So I might just leave it and see what happens, um, maybe cut it off if it really looks dead. But this plant, um, you know, again, Hoyas don't like to be overwatered, um, so you have to be careful about that. This one I'm planning to have in, you know, filtered bright light somewhere. Uh, but this plant's pretty cool. I like the size of the leaves, and someday I'll show you my other Hoyas, because I really like them. I think they're really, really beautiful. If they're really happy, they'll flower. I don't know if this plant will ever get there, but... We can cross our fingers. Um, now the next one that I have is a philodendron brand 
Tianum, a silver leaf philodendron. And this one I bought online. I forget which retailer. It's okay. Uh, it's, you know, there's some brown spots on it. Um, you know, philodendrons, in my opinion, are, they bounce back pretty quickly. They will put out new growth pretty quickly. Um, you know, what I've read about this one is you don't want to give it too much sun, which is easy for me. Um, but it has this like really pretty silvery variegation on it. And it is obviously a vining plant. Um, so I'm hoping that this one does pretty well. With all of these plants that I've ordered, I didn't have the highest expectations because, I mean, today it's 65 degrees and sunny, but it was actually pretty cold last week. Um, I had all of them shipped with heat packs. And, you know, I'm just pleased that they came in the condition that they came in. So that's that one. I also have this Moonlight Philodendron. And I'll be honest, I don't know if it's going to make it. This one just came. And this one also has a little bit of silver coloration on it, if you can see. But it also, I don't know if it froze or if it's just maybe stressed. Um, but one of the leaves, there's only two, well, two and a half, I guess. Um, but so one of them is brown, crispy. This one has a little bit of a crispy edge, and then but there is a new leaf coming in here. So I figure I'll give it a shot. This one I'm leaving it in the nursery pot that it came in. I don't want to stress it by repotting it because it looks like it, you know, it's kind of walking a, a fine line right now. Um, so. We'll see. You know, this one is also a trailing plant. Doesn't need a lot of light. Doesn't need a lot of water. So, you know, like I've said before, I really like philodendrons. Um, this one, you know, from what I've seen online is really beautiful, but we'll see if it makes it. Wish me luck. And then this other philodendron that I bought a couple of weeks ago, and it's, there's really, I don't want to say that there's nothing special about it because I think that this plant is really beautiful. But this, you know, it's not a rare one. They're easy to find. This is just what we call a heart leaf philodendron. There's no variegation on it. It's a huge plant. I bought it at actually my local garden store. The price tag is here. It was, I don't know if you can see it, but it was 30 bucks. And, you know, I've been kind of looking at it for a while. Um, but every time I saw it, I just thought, each time I just thought it was so beautiful. The new leaves kind of have this like pink color, um, but the older ones are just this green color. Um, you know, again, philodendrons, you can have them in low light conditions, medium light conditions, probably not too much sun, uh, but I've just found them to be really tolerant and beautiful. Um, so this one I finally got and I'm happy that I did. It's filling up a nice space in one of my windows. Um, and yeah, so I, that's one. That one I've had for a while. I feel like it's a little basic, but that's okay. And then now the last one is a pothos plant, and this one is called a Cebu Blue Pothos. I cannot say the actual name of a pothos plant, but I can put it in the caption if you want. But so these, again, are trailing plants. Um, they kind of have this, some really pretty veining, and almost like a metallic color when you or a metallic sheen when you look at it up close and I have seen pictures and videos of these and they can be so beautiful they grow really rapidly like other pothos plants they get bushy they get full they're tolerant of a lot of things so I'm really exciting excited for this one to grow and to kind of fill in a bit I feel like I got a pretty good specimen for it even though you know I don't know, I don't forget how much I paid for it. Uh, but I was, I'm happy with how it came. It looks great after being shipped. And I have a feeling this one's gonna do really well. I'm not really sure where I'll keep it yet, but I have a feeling anywhere I put it, as long as it's not in, a, in bright light, it will do really well. So those are the ones that I've bought, in, let's say the past month or so. I have, I think, one or two more that are coming, a Raven ZZ plant and a variegated peace lily. So I'll show you those when I get them. If you have any questions about these plants, let me know. I love sharing my plants with you and take care. Bye.